Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial for CMS. So first we're going to sign in. Uh, I like to have auto login on myself. just makes it a bit easier. So we're going to get in here and I'm thinking the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some cameras to here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the control panel and you're going to want to go to device management. Now, you're not going to see anything here. It's a bit different than the PC version. So you're going to want to click show online devices and you'll see everything on your network for cameras. Uh, so if you click on one, you will be able to edit the device. Uh, you have the ability to change its IP address, the subnet mask, and of course the port. Uh, and then you'll have to enter your administrator password, whenever that should be. And then you would have just been able to edit it there and hit ver uh, modify. Now, if you want to actually add the device, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the add device button down there. So you choose the device, you click on add device. Yes. And now you can give it a nickname an address, which is already in there, the port, and you'll enter your username and password. And then you can go into remote configuration and you'll be able to edit the device. So first we're going to go to your network settings. Uh, this is where you have the ability to again change your IP address and the ports like the HTTP and the RTSP port so you can port forward the device. And then we can go into user. You have the ability to change your username password in here uh, similar to other devices by hitting modify. Now we're going to go add a camera now that we have a DVR on here. So you go to control panel and you're going to go to import camera. Um, now you don't have a group made so you're going to go to add group. Um, I mean we have our demo group from the cameras but we, we want our own. So you go to add group and you're going to go let's just do our demo network. Okay now we're going to add a camera. So you choose the camera you want, and you're going to click on the import button over here. So let's just do camera one, import, camera three, import. Okay, so now you've got your cameras there. So they're now part of that group. And if we go over to main view, so main view, now you're going to see the group here. And you can just drag it over, and the cameras will start to pop up. And that's how you add the cameras to the CMS software. And now you can go to playback and you will also see that we have the group there as well. But a small difference is you can't drag it and drop. You actually have to expand on the camera and then you can import one camera at a time. So there we go. Now the camera is imported. Um, you also have the ability at the bottom you can choose your time frame that you want to view it at. So whatever time of day uh, it'll show you every instance of an event on motion detection. Continuous would of course be just a single bar. As well, if you want to make it one big screen, you can do that as well down there at the bottom, or multi-screens. Um, you also have the ability, if you want to do searches by uh, event, you can do that as well. Uh, you can go into event search. Uh, that allows you to search your cameras and find the events. Um, we're also going to go into your camera settings because uh, often you want to change your motion detection or maybe a little bit of the network settings for the camera itself. So for um, just as a couple options here, um, but for motion detection, which is the most common, you need to make sure that your arming schedule is made. So you want to make sure that it's set all day, every day, uh, or at a certain period whatever you want the camera to actually be looking for motion rather than just recording it. Um, you need to make sure that if you're drawing the line as well, uh, you can choose your time frame. Uh, you can expand that out if you need to as well just by highlighting it and moving it over. Uh, and then hit confirm if you want to save that schedule. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to your schedule here. This is actually where you set it up to, to save. So you, again, you, you set your advanced settings. So you do sort of like the pre-record, that sort of thing for the schedule. Uh, and then you're going to click on your 
uh, alarm template there. This is when you're actually recording. As you can see, this is continuous recording here in the blue. Uh, you can again choose sort of the pre-made templates if you only have certain times that you're wanting or you're only wanting it when it alarms. Um, you've got your custom where you can do things like your schedule or event. So you draw your schedule. Again, this is the continuous recording. Uh, and then you have the ability, if you wanted to, you can actually do uh, multiples. So you can do things like Let's just put some more of the schedule here, then a little bit of event. So just motion detection is the event sort of idea. And then you've got by command, which means it's more uh, 